Hello and welcome to the Yonex Taipei Open 2022. We're coming to you live from the Taipei Herping Basketball Gymnasium in the heart of Taipei City. The Super 300 event returns to the HSBC BWF World Tour after a two-year hiatus. This year, it's one of eight Super 300 events. The Yonex Taipei Open boasts a total prize pool of US $500,000. It's final day here, and let's take a look at the lineup of matches in store for you, starting with the mixed doubles final. And that's the only match featuring two unseeded opponents. We've got Ratanapak Optong and Chasani Korepap of Thailand taking on Lee Chun Hei, Reginald, and Ng Tse Yao of Hong Kong, China. That match will be followed by men's singles action and a mouth-watering clash between the top seed Cho Tian Chin, who's vying for a record fourth title here in Taipei, taking on the young gun that is Kodai Naraoka, the number four seed, looking for his first tour title. Following that, it's more scintillating action in women's singles, world number two, number one seed Tai Tzu Ying taking on the seventh seed, that is Saina Kawakami, both former champions, both looking to add to their Taipei Open tally. Women's doubles after that, and a young Japanese pairing up and coming, Rui, Rui Hirokami of Japan and Yuna Kato up against the six seeds, and Aung Tse Yao back in action with her women's doubles partner, Tsang Hui Yan. Both women, both pairs, looking for their first to a level title. And to end things off, it's men's doubles, Olympic champions, crowd favorites, Li Yang and Wang Chi Lin, the top seeds, going head to head with Malaysia's number six seeds, Man Wei Chong and T Kai Wun. And these four players all in the hunt for their first Taipei Open title. Well, we're gonna focus on the mixed doubles and here's a look at how things have panned out to get to this final for both the pairs. Optong and Korepap had a slightly easier outing in their semi-finals as compared to their opponents Lee and Ang, but that's all in the past now as both pairs will be eyeing for a career milestone today. Well, the season is surely but slowly building up to the HSBC BWF World Tour Finals at the end of the year in Guangzhou. Only the top eight from the race to the Guangzhou rankings that you see here will qualify. And while neither of today's participants are anywhere near the list, the points will be valuable in their bid to make the cut. It's time to get finals day underway here at the Taipei Herping Basketball Gymnasium. We've seen the officials walk onto court and now it's time for the players. I'm very happy to report that it's a full house and the fans are excited to get the action underway. Mixed double, finalists, march in. Rutanapa Autong, Chasini Korepa, Thailand. Rutanapa Autong, Chasini Korepa, Thailand. Well, the Thai young pairing of Optong and Korepa, both. 22 and 21 years old, respectively, are in for a Lee final Chun of Hei, their lives. Reginald, Ngo Zi Yao, Hong Kong, China. Li Jingxi, Wu Zirou, Zhongguo, Hong Kong. Li Chunhei, Reginald, and Ng Zi Yao of Hong Kong, China, ranked 71 in the world. And both have such a big day up ahead. Lee, after 10 years, back in the Taipei Open final. He did it in 2012 with his former partner, Chow, and he lost that final to Mohamed Rijal and Debbie Susanto of Indonesia. And uh, he'll be looking to 
make amends on that. And so, yeah, this is the first of two finals for her today. What a moment it is for the 24-year-old Aung. Right now, though, she's well focused on the mixed doubles match. It's their first meeting, as we just saw. And that, of course, brings a certain amount of uncertainty in the air. Not knowing their opponents, though I'm sure they have watched enough videos and done enough homework to have a handle on this match. Rotten of Oak Tong of Thailand, just 22 years of age, ranked 158th in the world, born in Lampang. What a moment this is for him. This is a fairly new partnership that he's developed with Chasani Korepap, 21 years of age. Sorry, 22, also 158 cm from Bangkok, Thailand, the capital. They've only come together this year, Optong and Kore Bob. In the short time that they've played together, they've mainly featured on the international challenge circuit, reaching two finals already in Estonia and Italy, where they finished runners-up. So this is undoubtedly their best outing, especially on tour level. Let's look at their road to the final and just one match that pushed them to three, and that was in the quarterfinals against Midori Kawa and Saito of Japan. 46 minutes is what they took to get past the Japanese opponents, but it's otherwise been pretty smooth sailing for the Thai Bear. This man, Lee chun Hei Reginald, knows a thing or two about playing at the Taipei Open final. 28 years of age. As I mentioned with his previous partner, Chow, he's played here in the final in 2012, and they used to be world number six. That's how high up the ranking he's been knows all about the expectations of playing in a final his partner Ung, 24 years of age she is playing in her first world Tour final with lee she has done or received gotten titles before with different partners but she is more importantly vying for two gold medals here in the mixed doubles and then in the women's doubles Looking at their road to the final, and they've had a tough outing in the latter stages of this tournament, quarterfinals against Ye and Lee, and then yesterday in the semifinals against Hu and Toh of Malaysia, they've been pushed all the way. But it's certainly got them confident for the match ahead. The umpire today is Kuo Pansien Benjamin from Chinese Taipei. And he'll be joined in the service judges chair by Wang Chao Wei Charles, also of Chinese Taipei. So a lot riding on this match, a title at stake, but most importantly, a first tour level title at stake for both these pairs. What a breakthrough that would mean for Reginald and Ung, for Lee and Ung. They've won titles before with different partners, but as a pair, this is their turn to Ladies leave their mark on the HSBC BWF World Tour. On my right, Rutanapa Otong, Chasani Koreka, Thailand. Li Chenghei, Reginald, and Mo Ji Yao, Hong Kong, China. Mo Ji Yao will serve to Amnata Optong. So Long will serve to Optong to get this Plan. match underway. Four. Lovely drop shot from the front court by Korepa, just to warm things up. Good pressure. 
from the Hong Kong China pair. Keep the play alive. Make the mistake from the opponent. Lee and Ang work really well. They've got very defined roles as a pair. Lee at the back, Ang in the front. It's an understanding they've developed for a few years now. But she has been so strong in the front court the last few matches, Ang Tzu Yao. And when she is up for it, very hard to play. Miss that, up down. Error in judgment. Going down the middle. Look how high he jumps. Five. One. This is a good start from Lianang. Establishing control early. Characteristic mistake that time from Ang. Going for the smash. Just didn't get enough on it. Such a well worked point. Just pushing the shuttle away. to dust off their nerves here, Thailand. Just play freely. Jun Hei does that to perfection, going down the line there. It's good response from Corey up in front. Seven. On the line. Accurate strike from Reginald Lee. Eight, two. Just on the top of the line there. This is good retaliation so from four, Thailand. They've four, found the space eight. behind the players that time. Oh, <laughs> beautiful. He had to make a dash for it, didn't he, Uptong? But that is visionary from Hong mm -hmm. Kong. Just finding that corner. Nine, four. Wait. 
Well, it was Ang who did all the hard work at the net first to set up the smash in the end. Just look at her reaction there. And then it was Lee's turn to put it away. Just missed it. Going for a down the line smash and overhit it that time. It's still a five point lead here. They're looking good at the moment. Lee and Ang. Surprise there with that left from Korepap. Just driving it behind Lee. It's good defending. impossible to return. So, Lee and Ang take the lead at the mid-game break. Seven minutes played. Hong Kong China up 11-6. <laughs> The players back on court to restart game one, which has been, I have to say, controlled mostly by the Hong Kong China pair. We've seen moments from Ok Chong and Corey Pop, but not been consistent so far with delivering the winners. for the kill shot. That two with a backhand. Unfortunately, that was too easy a point to give away after all that hard work. Five points ahead in this first game. <laughs> he mixed it up, went for the drop shot first, which Corey Pan got to, but then he turned the power on. Lee Chun Hei, and there was no coming back from it. Really, what a turnaround this is for the 28-year-old. Ten years ago, playing at the Taipei Open final, and he's back again here. It was the right idea from Optong try and go for the sidelines. Just missing that.
clash of records. Still recovered well to get the point. And we've seen him use that smash time and time again to end off the points, to end off the rallies. It's worked effectively so far. Brilliant movement. Unlucky. Corp up. Just looking for the net roll that time. Seven. I just see the movement of Ang Se Yao in the front court. It's a delight to watch. on it to get behind or get past Ang there. Ten point lead. was and then to run across the court to make another net shot but failing just at the end oh, she just left it at the end, the late decision. She is absolutely sublime when it comes to watching the net. Her front court Movement is perfection at the moment. Well, we've seen the trickery come off Optong's racket, but not working out for Thailand at the moment. It's Hong Kong, China, who have numerous game points. And they do it in style. 21-8. Lianang take the first game. Commanding performance in this mixed doubles final. Set the tone.
mixed doubles final here at the Onyx Taipei Open 2022. Game one done. We're into game two as Hong Kong China look to close us out in two, having taken the first. Ang Siya will serve to get things going. much picked up from wow. where they left off in that first no. game. Just controlling the point so well. Struggled to deal with his hard hitting shots, Thailand, and uh, seems to be continuing at the moment. The service error putting Thailand on the scoreboard. Smash, I mean, come on. It's so quick going cross court. Didn't even have to make too much of a jump there. Just used his wingspan. So it's over. Two, two. Well out. Just not being able to get into the game at the moment, the Thai pair. That was the right idea. And he got the line, just pushing the shuttle to the sides. He knew that would make his opponent have to move very quickly. That's good attack from Otpong and Korepak. Oh. Oh. right at their opponents that time. And they've leveled the scores here. Four. Certainly a determined performance so, so far by Hong Kong, Kong China. Five, four. She missed that though completely. Charging forward. Lee Jun Hei was not going to let that point go. Six, four. Killed it off as he came forward to the net. Oh. They moved the shuttle so well, Lee and Ang. Finding the spaces on the court. They know almost exactly where they want to put it away. And it's the ties who are left scrambling. Seven, four. Three point lead now. Well, it was 
was that crouching shot from Ang that really Eight, saved the point. Four. And then Lee made sure that he closed it out, but terrific hitting from Ang Tse Yao. better piling on the pressure Eight. Optong attacking Lee's backhand there Four. and time and time again he comes through with those powerful smashes Nine. just out muscling his Four. opponents Well left. That Ten, took four. a brave Eight. decision, and they certainly made it. It's a five-point lead for Li Anang. Oh, a delightful drop. He mixes it up Eight. that time. And with that, it is Li Anang of Hong Kong, China, who have one foot in the door. 11-5 up in the second game, having taken the first. They're just 10 points away now from victory here at the Taipei Open. Game two about to resume. Thailand with a lot of work to do here. They've got to try and string a few points together now to make something out of this game. <laughs> kind of lost grip of his racket. So it's over. Slipped out of his hands, most likely. I saved it well with that slightly low lift. This is better. We've got to try and get two or three points in a row now. Optong and Koripap just close the gap. If they can. That was a good return. Going low. It's fantastic rotation right at the end. Ang was at the back of the court for most of that point, but just as she came forward and Lee went back, he used that deceptive drop shot to his advantage. How oh, did she save that? 
Wow. That's unbelievable. Look. It's almost doing a semi split there. It's just all one-way traffic, isn't it, at the moment? They don't seem to be putting a foot wrong. It's a good rally, but <clears throat> right at the end. Caught unaware a little bit of Dong. And she had her back completely turned to her opponent, Ang Tse Young, and still made the backhand cross court. Ten point lead. Writing seems to be on the wall right for Thailand. Once more, choosing for the drop shot instead of the smash, which is normally what you expect, but he's used that to perfection as well. Two points away from victory now. And with that, Hong Kong, China, have 12 match Nine points. Eight. Another error off the tie racket means it's match point opportunities galore. You've got to be a little bit more patient. You know how badly they want it. So it's over. Nine. Twenty. Secured the Taipei Open title. What a fantastic moment for Hong Kong China, who successfully defend their mixed doubles crown here. With Tang and Sir having won it in 2019, it's Li Anang who hold on to that mixed doubles crown for Hong Kong China. But a tremendous performance by Li Yang'an, who really came all guns blazing out in this mixed doubles final. And what a moment this is for Li Junhe Reginald, who 10 years ago was in this very final and had to settle for the silver medal. But this time around, 10 years later, he's back and he secured the win. 30 minutes, all wrapped up. Lee Chun-hei, Reginald, Aung Se Yao, your Yonex Taipei Open 2022 champions. Fantastic performance from both pairs, but it was just a first-class finish from Li and Aung in the end there. They just dominated the points so well. Didn't allow the Taipei looking, really. As we get ready for the prize presentation. But what a moment for 
Li and Ang. Ang, of course, now will put this match away and get ready for her women's doubles final. Can you imagine? Going for the double here. And in that women's doubles match, she's the seeded bear, so she'll be one of the favorites to achieve the double. First time since 2005. It's been 17 years since a player has done that. But let's take nothing away from this performance from uh, Li Anang, who have now secured their first tour level title, Super 300. And uh, have announced their arrival on the HSBC BWF World Tour. Ang, of course, having won a tour title before with Tang Chun Man, that was in 2019 at the China Masters. She's also won it in women's doubles with her former partner Yuan, but as a pair, these two, Li and Ang, will be really happy to get this win under their belt. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and distinguished guests. The award ceremony for the UNEX Taipei Open 2022 mixed doubles will begin now. From Gongxi, Ya Jun. The runners of mixed doubles finals are Rutanapa Otong and the Chinese Korapa for Thailand. And champions of mixed doubles finals are Li Jinghe Regional and the Wu Jinya from Hong Kong China to the stage. 接着我们恭请颁奖人中华民国语球协会理事长张国作理事长和我们颁发奖牌 And now we are honored to invite our guest Chinese Taipei Badminton Association President Will Chang to the stage to present the medals. We would like to invite our guest, Yonex Taiwan Company Limited President, Teruhisa Miyame, to the stage to present the check. We now invite our guest, Albany Company Limited Chairman Yang Wenfang, to the stage to present the mask off from our tournament. We now invite our guest, Javin Group Innova Green Tech CEO, Mandy Lee, to the stage to present the bouquet from our tournament. Players and guests, please get together for a group photo. Look the left camera from the 
stage。接着看一下右手边，右手边的美女朋友，我们要把口罩脱掉。Take off the mask, please. Thank you. 好，我们看一下前方。Well, congratulations to Ang and Lee on their your next Taipei Open title. Well, we've got more coming up very, very shortly. It's a men's singles final between Cho Chin Chen and Kodai and Naraoka. Exciting matchup between the number one and number four seed. watching the live coverage of the Yonex Taipei Open 2022. We're coming to you live from the Taipei Herping Basketball Gymnasium and it's finals day. We witnessed one final already in the mixed doubles and that was Hong Kong China's to take. Lee and Ng winning it in straight games over Optong and Korepap of Thailand. Just took 30 minutes. It was a commanding performance for the Hong Kong China pair. Up next, the men's singles fan favorite number one